Howdy folks. The other day I set up a new Windows 11 computer in my living room specifically for gaming with an Xbox controller connected. So coming up here on my office PC, I'll share with you some of the settings and built-in features I changed on the other PC to get the best overall experience possible when gaming. For the first five tips, we'll be using the settings app. To open it, you could do a search for settings in the search box in the taskbar, or you could right click on the start menu and select it or open it using the keyboard shortcut, which is the Windows key plus I. This first one is a no-brainer. We'll enable the game mode, which is a built-in game optimizer tool, which reduces activity in the background, like Windows updating, and it stops notifications while you're playing to help you focus. To enable it, go to gaming in the left pane, select game mode. This is one of those that should be enabled by default. If it's not, click the toggle to enable it. Programs that run as soon as you turn on your computer can have a negative impact on performance. Disabling those programs running in the background, taking up system resources, will allow more resources to gaming. To disable startup tasks, you could use the Task Manager. You can now do this in the Settings app, so I'll show you the newer way. In the left pane, go to Apps. Here at the bottom, click on Startup. Now go through the list and disable all the programs you know you don't need when your computer starts up. I'll turn off Microsoft Edge, Microsoft To Do, see if there's anything else here, ShareX, and Spotify. Of those you disable, they're still available when you need them. They just won't automatically run at startup. Optimizing the display settings can give you quality of life improvements to make sure your games look better and run more smoothly. In System, go to Display. Select the monitor you'll be gaming on. Let's scroll down. If your monitor supports HDR to improve the contrast and color, go to HDR. This monitor does not support HDR. If yours does, you'll see a setting called Auto HDR. Enable it. Let's go back. Scroll down. Make sure you're using the recommended display resolution. Just above that, you might have to play around with the scale to get it perfect. On 4K monitors, it usually recommends 150%. For me, 200% is just right. Under Related Settings, let's now go into Advanced Display. For Refresh Rate, choose the highest available, and in this case that would be 60Hz. These have been going crazy with the latest monitors. I've seen some as high as 480Hz. Let's go back, scroll down, and select Graphics. Scroll down and choose your game. As I mentioned earlier, this is not my normal gaming PC, so let's pretend the Microsoft Store is a game. Click on Options, select High Performance, then click on Save. If you're playing a game using your mouse, it's best to disable Enhance Pointer Precision. Doing so will improve the accuracy of your mouse when playing games. In the left pane, go to Bluetooth and Devices. Scroll down and click on mouse. If enhanced pointer precision is turned on, click the toggle to turn it off. When playing online games using a wired connection with an ethernet cable, will give you a more reliable internet connection and speed than Wi-Fi. If you're using Wi-Fi, let's go into network and internet. Click on Wi-Fi. Click show available networks. If you have access to more than one network, choose the network with the highest upload and download speeds. In addition, if you're able to, moving your router closer to your gaming PC will also help you with a more reliable connection and speed as well. This one is also a no-brainer. Using the highest performance power plan available will improve gaming performance. While this now can partially be done in the Settings app, you may have more choices available to you in the Control Panel. So to open it, Go to search in the taskbar and type control panel. Select it. Click power options. You may need to click here to see additional plans. Plans will vary depending on the manufacturer. Now select the plan that will give you the best performance. In this case, on this computer, that would be ultimate performance. For optimal performance, your graphics card should have the latest drivers installed. NVIDIA and AMD are the big ones. Intel also makes graphics cards. 
on this computer, it's NVIDIA. Depending on the NVIDIA graphics card, check either the GeForce Experience app or the newer NVIDIA app for updates, and then download and install. An alternative way to check for updates for your graphics card is to right-click the Start menu and select Device Manager. Expand Display Adapters. This one primarily applies to those computers that only have an integrated graphics card. So you'd right-click on it and select Update Driver. Then click on Search Automatically for Drivers. And if you had an update for it, it would let you know right here. The Virtual Machine Platform is a useful feature for developers that allows Windows to run in virtualized environments. It's unnecessary for games, so disabling it will free up system resources to help you get better performance in games. To disable it, do a search for Windows Features. Select Turn Windows Features On or Off. Go through the list and uncheck the box next to Virtual Machine Platform. Then click OK. For the changes to take effect, you'll need to restart your computer. What I forgot to mention earlier in the Settings app is changing the default graphics settings. So in Settings, with System selected on the left, click on Display. Scroll down in Related Settings, go into Graphics. Here at the top, click Change Default Graphics Settings. If you have a dedicated graphics card, turning on Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling will let the GPU both schedule and render frames instead of your CPU handling the first part. Enabling this one will require that you restart your PC for the changes to take effect. If you play games in a window or borderless window, turning on optimizations for windowed games will reduce frame rate latency and give you other advanced features like auto HDR and variable refresh rate for displays and games that support it. Turning this one on requires that you restart your game for the changes to take effect. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you to better optimize your Windows 11 PC for gaming, give it a thumbs up and share it with others. If you have any other tips to help out your fellow gamers, let us know in the comments. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and click the bell to not miss out on our latest tutorials for Windows 11 here on Brett in Tech.